let's have some beer. Who? Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got us a can of Original 16 Prairie White Belgian Style Wheat Beer with Premium Orange Peel and Spices. Ooh by the Great Western Brewing Company out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, coming in at 4.8% ABV. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by premium orange peel and spices. It... What the hell's a premium orange peel? <laughs> Reading that just made me kind of laugh. Um, yeah, I've never had anything by this brewery, as far as my uh, mind is telling me. I really like that wheat with the orange peel with these sorry the orange slices i guess in there that actually looks really cool i'm hoping that it's actually got a nice orange presence to it and not just the belgian part of everything no idea at all so let's crack it up and then let's see what we have got assuming some cloudiness a freaking wheat beer. If it's a clear wheat beer, something's not right. Maybe a little bit of a swishy do. Make sure we get all the. Oh my god, something looks like. Okay. I think it's gonna be okay. It seems to be kind of dissolving into it, but it looked like little worms in the fucking glass. <laughs> oh, um, I'll get the thumbnail, and I'm gonna let that settle for a good, like, five minutes before I even think about putting it in my mouth, and then we'll go from there. All right, she's kind of settled down, but not really, like, the... The effervescence, like the bubbles coming up off of this weird yeasty sediment stuff, is kind of preventing anything from really settling. I, that stuff starts to come all the way, almost all the way down, and then it gets lifted back up again. I've created a fucking current in my beer. It smells like the most typical wheat beer I've ever smelled. Some orange, some of that like, like coriander kind of aroma. Undertones of Belgian yeastiness. Let's give her a shot. That's actually not bad. The orange flavor actually comes through in a really nice way. Completely kind of intermingles with the yeastiness and makes the yeastiness not be bad. Wow. Um, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Still scared about that last couple drinks, though. I'll tell you that right now. That's actually really nice. Like, hot summer day on a patio, 4.8%. You could easily go through a few of those. That's one of the nicest Belgian style anythings I have had in a long time. I think, it, it, is it happening? Is the palate shift occurring right now? I don't know. I feel like after this, I don't know if I have anything else in the fridge that's kind of Belgian right now. But if I do, I think I might follow this up with something else that's kind of Belgian and see. See if something happened. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to find something that I don't like. And this is incredibly just 
super nice, refreshing, really nice kind of effervescence with the carbonation going on. It's, it's delightful. It's fucking delightful. What's happening right now? My world's falling apart. It's like seriously breaking my head right now. Wow. Good on you, Great Western Brewing. My goodness. The entire dedicated team at Great Western Brewing Company stands behind this quality product. If you're not completely satisfied, tell us and we'll gladly replace it. Employee founded and proudly independent. You know what? That's actually all. If I didn't like it, I would, I don't know, call you or something. It says on here to do that. But, no. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying a Belgian style beer right now. This, it's happened, it's kind of happened a couple times in the past, but this has got to be like the most I've enjoyed one to this point. Do you have, okay, and bolted barley, white, wheat, orange peel, hops, and coriander. It was coriander. And there's some kind, is that a, you mother walkers. We have some kind of a date code that I really don't, it's really small. It's a 55-4-49, and then we have 8204 with a space, zero, and that's time, 718, 0, 07 colon 18, that'd be a time. I don't know what that would mean as far as what the actual date it was made on is, but... Like, I feel like the sediment the sediment might kind of be a bit extreme or maybe you're they they assume most people wouldn't just shake it up like that and pour it out but like I'm sure that'll come through quite clearly yeah it, it looks like it looks like fish poo <laughs> it looks like fish poo in the bottom of my glass once it gets to like there or so I'm gonna try to give it a nice little swish Actually, even right now, you can kind of roll it around a bit. Hey, look at that. It's freaking horrible looking. It looks like poo. It looks like poo in the bottom of my glass. I'm drinking poo beer. Delicious, oddly delicious poo beer. As long as that, as long as, like, I have no problem with this stuff in here. The sediment, the trub as they call it, it's where a lot of the nutrients lie. But, uh, I've never ever felt it on my tongue until that fucking, what was it, the, uh, the jalapeno stout from New Ontario was quite disappointing, to say the least. Like, I've, I've never, the, the chunks, I think I like pulled one off the glass and I was like, ah, 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 yeah. Um, this is glorious. Uh, and Great Western Beer, I think. Maybe brewing. That was beer. GreatWesternBeer.com We'll bring it to Great Western Beer. I feel like Saskatchewan isn't really... Well, I guess in the grand scheme of Ontario, of, of, Ontario, of Canada, they would be kind of, I guess, more west than central, I guess. But Alberta and... BC are kind of what I think of in my head when I think Western Canada. It's just me. I don't know. Uh, it's ten and a half minutes now, so I'm gonna go down and surprise. I'm gonna go sit and shockingly enjoy some frickin' Belgian beer. What the crap? I can't explain it. This is very tasty, and I like it a lot. And uh, I'm going to take one more drink, which actually served to stir that up pretty nicely. And I'm going to kind of switch this around pretty good. I'm going to go the other way a little bit. I almost want to put like a little tiny whisk in there. If I had a tiny whisk, my mom has one. And you find out where she got it. Put that in there and whisk it around. Because, like, you can see, you can see. Uh,
Drink never last. It's coming. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build up the courage. I'm scared. Fuck me. Let's do it. Sediment was not detected by my tongue. Um, Great Western Brewing. Your prairie white Belgian style wheat beer with premium orange peel and spices. <sighs> I can't not give that like a nine. It kind of blew my mind a little bit. It wasn't like delicious, amazing, but the fact that I didn't dislike it at all. Yeah. It's Belgian. And you've done a good job. So uh, that's going to do it for this particular beer review. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, then uh, smash the thumbs up in its face. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more, then subscribe, because that's how things work like that. I'll be back something like this, with something like this, pretty soon. A piece of Hmm. Let's check the fridge. Don't seem to have anything overly Belgian, but there's a few Saisons in there, so we'll see if I, I, I still don't like them.